what a day! What a lovely day! Wanna get through this? Let's go! Oh, congratulations, man. Thank this you very is much. crazy. One hell of a ride. Man. Yeah. I, I, lo I love it, man. It's like right <laughs> down, it's like right down my lane. But like the best part about it, so much action, so many stunts, but I was so glad it was all organic. Like you guys did the real I don't for know how real. How much energy deal. you've got. You've come in here and I'm like, <laughs> no, I got to, baby. Here we come go. On. I feel like I'm it's back TV, in the but, film. We're all fired up. I just did you watched eat a lot the movie last jam night. This morning, are you on a sugar high? No, no, this is me. This is this me. This is me. This is all right. me. Hundred percent. Yeah, watched it last night. Yeah, watched it last night. But no, come on. Right. This, uh, what was it like? Because you guys, there's no CGI in this, or very little. Yeah, yeah. No, well, yeah, I mean, to be fair, you're you're right in many ways. It was like uh, I would I would get like chills and adrenaline rushes and like all the all the hairs would stand up on my arm because we'd be sitting there in these. And I, my, I, I drive like a V8 hot rod in, 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 in the film, and they'd start my engine up, and then, and then you'd hear all these other like 50 vehicles around you all fire up their engines. You'd have flames coming out of your exhaust. These war drums would start going, and then we'd all roll out into the Namibian desert to start shooting for the day. And you'd be like, and particularly like we play these war boy characters who are immense, essentially believe that if they die in battle, they'll go to Valhalla and be immortal, and, and that's how they want to go out. So you'd have like 150 stunt guys as well, all getting fired up. It's a very, quite a testosterone filled set in many ways. Um, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then we'd all go into the desert and do crazy stuff and things would blow up and people would crash and, and then you'd go home and you'd sit there and you'd be like, I made it through another day, good, all right, uh, only another seven months to go. <laughs> Speaking of the desert, you yeah. guys actually went to the Nabib Desert, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's considered one of the hottest places on the planet. Yeah, but we were there during their winter, so it was actually kind of cold a lot of the time, um, which I didn't expect. Um, it got warm towards the end of shooting, but most of the time I, I only wear like trousers in the film and one shoe throughout most of it. So you'd be standing around kind of freezing um, and then trying to look warm um, when the cameras roll. But it was, um, I think the, the, the strangest thing was when dust storms would roll in and they'd keep shooting, all the crew would like wrap themselves up and put goggles on and the rest of us would just be out there in the elements getting hounded by sand and not being able to open your eyes. Um, but a be beautiful place and it looks spectacular in the film. Yeah, what else is there to do around there? Like when you weren't shooting, were there places to go and visit, things to do, places to see? There, there, were, some, there were some sand dunes, there was a seal colony, um, there was, I went skydiving. Um, what else? Uh, I, I drank quite a lot of whiskey. That's kind of it, I think. I tried not... surfing. Oh no, cool. Sounds yeah, we were cool. on the we were on the skeleton coast. Tried surfing, quad biking, lots of things that we weren't really technically allowed to be doing because you of did. insurance reasons. Yeah, that's I was just good. like, well, I'm that's gonna go and do it. That's what you do. That's why you're in this business. Yeah. Now, how much do you remember of the original franchise, the original three Mad Max movies? The original, well, I, I hadn't seen them before watching before auditioning with George, and I was like, all right, I need to watch these films because I have an idea what's going on, and I'm gonna be meeting like I'd seen his other films, I'd seen like Babe and Happy Feet and things like that, and Lorenzo's Oil and stuff. So I was like, obviously a fan. Um, and then, um, and then, yeah, I was just I went in there, and he and he was one of the smartest people I think I've ever spoken to. He, every, everything you mentioned, he's got something from a conversation maybe 30 years ago to to bring into it and add to it and and, and bring to your character. It's um, it's yeah, it's great to have spent some time with him. Appreciate it, man. Nice one. Yeah, Thank you, dude. Great job, man. Cheers, great movie, man. man. Love it.